Hey guys, it's Harleywood. Welcome back. All right, today I'm going to fanboy out just a little bit. As you can see, I am a huge fan of Victos products. Now, I have purchased everything that you, I'm going to show you today, okay? Including this shirt my wife just got me a few days ago. So they have not sponsored or provided any of the content for this video. Well, obviously they provided it because they shipped it to me when I ordered it, but this video is not officially sponsored by them. That said, we do still have to pay the bills. Today's video sponsored by Skull Bliss. There is a link in the description below to skullbliss.com and I want you guys to check this out. This thing is incredibly detailed. They are hand carved by Balinese artists. Each of these takes days to make and it takes years to learn how to do this. And the animal is not taken just to produce what you see here, okay? The animal is ethically sourced for its meat and then they take the skull and produce the piece of art that you see here. There are several options to choose from. So this is the gray boho. There are white versions, there are metallic versions, a whole bunch of different varieties to suit your decorating needs. There are several different skull types available. This is the longhorn, there are rams, there are buffalo, there are even longer variations of this longhorn. On the website, you can pick and choose what you want from the carvings, the colors, the animal itself, the hanging options. Again, link in the description below, check them out. Let's get into it. So today I'm gonna to show you a few of my favorite products that don't really need a full dedicated review, okay? First, we're gonna look at these Core 2 shoes, all right? So every year I attend multiple industry events. SHOT Show is brutal. You're on the floor for four, sometimes five days, depending on how long you choose to stay. And for the past few years prior, I had been wearing my Keen boots. Now, as you can see by how dirty these are, I use these all the time. These are incredibly comfortable, especially around the property. Maybe not so much walking on a hard concrete floor for four days though, okay? So in years past, I had complained about my feet hurting and I had even gone down the street from where SHOT Show was into a Walgreens and bought replacement um, insoles in the middle of the SHOT Show week a few years back because my feet were just killing me in these. But this past year for Christmas, my wife got me these Core 2s to wear at SHOT Show so much better. Now, were my feet still a little bit sore during SHOT Show? Yes, but I think that was just because I wore them for the first time and my feet were breaking in the insoles. And I liked them so much that I actually bought the white pair myself just about a month or so ago. And look at the soles on these, those camo soles. Now, they are suede right here and you can see how dirty these have gotten. All right, that was just on the plane, sticking my feet up under the seat in front of me. I guess there was some grease up under there. So if you get the white, that suede's a little hard to keep clean. This is their rolling luggage bag. If you want to see a full review of this, post a comment down below and let me know. Depending on how this video does with the backpack that we're about to review, I may do this one next. I have taken this to two industry events. Both were Gunsight Academy, actually. So I've been twice taking this through there's some things I really like about it, and there's something that I wish was different about it. And so if you want to see that, post a comment down below. All right, and then these are their apparatus gloves. So if you want to be an operator, you need these gloves. Um, some good and some bad. There's some bad right there. You can see my ring under there. These are very, very thin. So I would not use these if you're going to do any sort of heavy work, okay? Um, this is the second pair that I've blown through, and you can even see the little shield on the end there is already starting to peel off. They are really comfortable if you're just on a long gun or something like that doing some precision shooting maybe and you need a little bit of extra warmth on your hands. These are great. You still have full mobility and you can still get some of those fine uh, motor skills, but they are very thin. Now, they have Velcro to secure them on the outside here. They also have two loops, all right? So if you wanted to hook them onto a bag like I do with this backpack, I'll show you that here in just a minute, um, you can certainly secure them that way. They do have a little bit of padding on the knuckles. So if your uh, best friend was talking back and you needed to uh, take care of business, you could certainly do that. And size-wise, they run a tad bit small. So I wear Mechanics gloves size large. These are also size large, but they are a lot more form-fitting. Not too tightly so, but they're just a lot more form-fitting than the same size in a Mechanics glove. And before we get to the star of today's show, last but not least, this is their toiletry bag. So again, my wife got me this for Christmas. And I really like this thing. I've taken it now on two trips, again, both to Gunside Academy. It's got a little bit of loop Velcro on the front there. It has a see-through pouch here. 
you can hang it if you need to. So if there's a hook on the back of the bathroom door in the hotel, there's two retention straps here. Previously, I had my toothbrush through there, but when I was leaving the hotel, I just threw it all in there. I literally just got back from Gunsight Academy, so this is still fully loaded. Um, I've got an icy hot pack back here. This pouch in the back is all the way to the bottom. And then you can see there are also three pouches right here in the front, as well as a deep kind of dump pouch. And there are even, bags and pouches are so hard to show, and then there are even little sleeves on the side here where you can stick additional items. So really cool bag solution from them. And also if you wanted to hook it, you can undo the strap here, hook it through something and clip it back in and then it can hang from the strap. And lastly, there are Molly straps on the back and another dump pouch there. Here we go. The focus of today's video is the Perimeter 25. There is also a Perimeter 40. I first saw these at SHOT Show this past year at their booth and literally after I was done looking at it in the booth before I even stepped off the carpet of their little booth area, I ordered one online and it was waiting for me by the time I got home. That is another thing. They have really fast shipping, all right? So they are very buttoned up and shipping is very, very quick. All right, because that's how she likes it, we're gonna start on the outside and work our way in. All right, so there is laser cut Molly paneling right here. I would like if there had been some Velcro, some loop Velcro across the front right here. Um, the name patch, or excuse me, the, the patch area of Velcro up here is technically on the top. And so it's hard if you wanna show off patches and things like that, um, you don't really have all the real estate. So maybe a nice strip right there would have been cool or even integrating it into the Molly section. There is a water bottle holder on the side of the bag, only on the one side, and it is expandable. So you can zip this out and it's got some elastic material in there. The only thing that I'll say that I wish they had is some sort of retention uh, mechanism up here. So there is a strap here and I almost feel like maybe mine was missing it, but there should be a piece of like bungee cord or something here that you can wrap over the top of the bottle. Sorry, I had to change batteries on my external monitor. So again, there is an expandable system here, but not all bottles are the same. And so some sort of bungee retention system on the top here so that bottles don't fall out. And I love the fact that when you're not using it, simply zip it up and it stays very low profile. I'm telling you, whoever's doing their design work there, needs a pay raise. So their stuff is beautiful, which is why I've tended to gravitate to it. So on the back are two pads for your shoulders and then a lumbar pad down here with it cut out in the middle so you can get a little bit of airflow. The straps are well contoured. I have bags that are from LBT, London Bridge Training, that you have never seen on this channel because I wear my stuff, guys, and I wore it to SHOT Show and it was horribly uncomfortable. It was so bad. Um, these are nicely padded, they're breathable, and they're well contoured, so they're not gonna rub on your neck. I mean, everybody's frame's different, right? Somebody may say it doesn't fit them well. This one fits me well. It also has some straps running down it, and then it does have a sternum strap that is stretchable. And you can see here, I even threw one of these, what are these called, Grimlocks, I think? One of these Grimlock clips, and this is where I keep those gloves hanging. There you can kind of see how that bag fits. You can see the contour of those straps there. And again, there is a 40 liter version. Um, are there times where I wish I had the 40 liter version? Yeah, but then I feel like you just fill it up and you end up carrying too much weight around. So the 25 has been fine. All right, now let's get on the inside. But again, because that's how she likes it, we're gonna start with the front and work our way to the back. <laughs> that was bad. Okay, there is a water resistant zipper here, all right? And let's see, oh, I've got some face masks. So luckily they're no longer required on the plane, but I did have these for the previous trip that I took to Gunsight Academy. And again, it's this whole section in here is available via this zipper. If we open up the front here, um, there's my luggage tags. Cause again, I just got back from a trip. Now this piece here, so it has some little clips on it. This is a holster, okay? Um, I, I, I don't off-body carry, so this, I literally just threw it back in here for this video. This is something that I left sitting on my workbench when I went on this trip, but it has some little clips in the back here, and they affix right here on this panel, okay? Not the Velcro itself, obviously that helps, but you stick the clips through these and it secures it. One thing this is lacking, if you do want to off-body carry, in my opinion, is get rid of the name strip, and then you would need some sort of retention system to go over the firearm that would go from this piece of Velcro to this one on the back and secure that in there. Because again, you don't want it falling out. There is a compartment across the top here that goes about four inches down and all the way across. And in there, I have a right in the rain pad and some 
wired headphones for the airplane. And there is also a retention keeper in there. So if you wanted to put your keys in there, there are four slots across the bottom here where you could put things in there if you wanted to. And then there are also straps that are wider up here, as well as some more narrow ones for all sorts of organization in the bottom there. We get rid of the charging cable. I've got a battery bank in there and tucked underneath this lip right here is actually another zipper. And if you open that up, it's a very nicely felted material in there. And there's a slot in the back there where you could hide you know, business cards or something like that. And then there's a carry handle across the top here. It's sufficient. It's a carry handle. It does everything you need it to do. Um, it is not one thin piece of material though. It's actually got a little bit of padding on the inside of it. So well done there. And there is a port. If I open these zippers up, there is a port right here. So if you had a hydration bladder on the inside, you could run the cable out through there. Now, one of the problems with that is because that port is in the front, if your hydration bladder is inside here and then your port comes out through here and you want to open this bag up, all of a sudden the two are kind of fighting with each other. So I think that port sh probably should have been behind the zipper. And then last on the outside is another kind of water resistant zipper right here. And again, it's just got a little small compartment in there and I've got hand sanitizer and I think some ibuprofen. On this side, the zipper comes about two thirds of the way down the side of the bag. On this other side, it goes all the way to the bottom. So it's not a full clamshell design. It kind of opens up like this, all right? You can see there is a zippered compartment in the back here. So if you wanted to throw a hydration bladder back in there, you could. And there's also a little keeper strap on the top there that you could hang it from, all right? There's another pouch here. Oh, there's my iPad. This pouch here does actually fit a 16 inch MacBook Pro. Now the caveat, I did not carry mine like that because when I say fits, it fits and nothing else. And the edges of the laptop come right up against the edge of the bag here. And I've already broken one MacBook Pro because it was sitting on top of my rolling luggage, fell off onto a hardwood floor and hit on the corner and cracked my MacBook. So you do you, but if you wanted to carry it in there, you could. There's also a big pouch here that these are actually my SHOT Show badges that are in there. So they go all the way down to the bottom and they're about half the width of the bag. And there's another full depth, half width pouch here that has a see-through zippered compartment on the front. And I think in there, it's actually the external mics that I'm using on the camera there. And if we turn this around, another zippered compartment here that I have some Axel Ear Pro in. If you don't know about these, there's a link in the description below. Go check them out. Some nice unconquered artwork there. All right. Again, just a dump area in the middle, more microphones. Here's a little camera stick, um, not <laughs> cough drops, and another full width zippered part in the bottom here. And to give you an idea of the size of that compartment, this is an iPad Air 4. It it almost zips up. I mean, it comes pretty much right to the top of it. So that gives you an idea on the size. And if it's your first time purchasing from Victos, there's also a 15% off code. Um, I don't remember what it is off the top of my head, but when you go to their website, this pop-up shows up and um, you enter your email address for their newsletter and you get a code in the email for 15% off. And that's it guys. So again, I have no affiliation with them. I love their designs. I love the Multicam Black, obviously. And the bags are comfortable and they are highly functional. There's a lot of different pouches, allows you to organize your gear. That thing is super cool. If you guys wanna see a video of that, post a comment down below. If this video gets enough traction, maybe it's worth it for me to review the Rolling Johnny bag. I think it's called the Johnny Rolling Luggage Bag or something like that. Again, there's a lot of stuff I really like about it. There's one thing in particular that I wish was different. And that's it guys. So if you like this video, do me a favor, give it a like down below. It helps more people see this. It helps it boost in the algorithms, helps my channel get a little bit more exposure. I appreciate your time watching. As always, make sure you're subscribed and join my newsletter. I do a lot of giveaways on this channel. The newsletter is the best way to know. No spam, I promise. Again, appreciate your time watching. Lots more videos to come and I'll see you in the next one.